Greetings, educators. The first day of school has passed, and this morning, it is early in the morning, this morning is the second day of school. I just kind of wanted to show everyone what was going on in my classroom. So here are some of the sentence strips with the students' names next to sounds that correlate and correspond with the students. I also have some vocabulary words that I used in my initial presentation. Um, I have uh, some ways for them to get into the computer programs that they must use posted on the wall so they're not scrambling for particular passwords and usernames. Um, also first day of school Just got empty boxes of copy paper boxes and put printed out pictures and laminated pictures and taped them to the front of the boxes so that the supplies could go right into the boxes when the parents or student came in with the supplies. Uh, I have a PowerPoint that I used to guide my day first day of school and I didn't want to post anything until I actually got through the day um, and it did go well so I am willing to share um, don't hesitate to email me all of my information is connected to my website um, everything that I'm showing you these little posters that I made and laminated are things we talked about um, to get them orientated into my classroom Vocabulary is here on the wall. The vocabulary words are also on the sentence strips. I did that at the end of the day, the sentence strips, but this was on the wall when they came in. Vocabulary word, definition, and a little picture representation. Um, in the classroom, they can receive um, Panther Bucks as a way of positive incentive to do the right thing. I catch the student doing the right thing and they get a buck. But I also have ways for groups to get bucks and the whole classroom to get bucks. So my class is divided into two U-shaped figures. And so the first U is group one, the second U is group two. And when I catch the entire group doing what they're supposed to do, then they'll get a point. And when we're in the hallway, walking to the bathroom, walking to the cafeteria, walking to the playground, and we get a compliment by another teacher that is a classroom buck. So 10 class bucks equals a classroom party during lunch. We eat lunch in the classroom and I may provide a little treat to the students. And five group bucks equals lunch in the classroom with a little special treat. Um, here are the anchor charts that we made on the first day of school and practiced. So first we talked about how to behave. Then I showed a little video of my previous classroom um, and how the procedures work with them and how it looked. Then we practiced as a class. Then when we came back, we created the anchor chart. So um, just kind of wanted to show you all some of the new things that I have going on in the classroom since my initial video um, of setting up the classroom because a few things not necessarily have changed but have been added. Um, for writing, reading, and math I have the station um, anchor charts or maps and of course these are the different areas in the classroom the circle table trapezoid table rectangle table the computer table and their own individual desk I don't have the teacher group up here because I'm going to call the students as I need them uh, the students names will be on the side groups are fluid that means they may change often so there's not necessarily a red group, green group, purple group, that kind of thing. So I use the words, the vocabulary words um, that we created 
that I've created, I make lanyards with them. And, um, you know, I'll let them keep those lanyards for the entire week. They hang the lanyards on their desk, on their chair. So here is a word that says previous. Um, that the child will wear all day and when school is over or when they go to PE or recess, they can hang the lanyard on their chair as, as demonstrated here. And so when I start putting students in groups, maybe the first full week of school, because we started school yesterday, Thursday, um, I might say, oh, okay, the uh, previous group, please come to me. The sagacious group, please come to me success group please come to me and they may not know that I have a formula and method for giving them their lanyards but I do let me focus on the desk this is something that I didn't talk about in my first video I went to Publix and I got these um, recyclable bags or reusable bags and these bags I uh, just you know they have handles long enough and I can just place it over the chair. And they're going to be introduced to my classroom library today. And they'll be able to pick out six Just Right books. So they keep their Just Right books in their bag. And when they're finished with their work early, they can just simply reach around and grab a Just Right book and read it. They also have in their desk a bag to keep their paw bucks in. And they have vocabulary journal, a math journal, a reading journal, and a phonics journal. I'll go more in depth with my journals um, on another day, but at this time, they just have the journals in their desk. They're not using the journals yet. Today is only the second day of school at this point. Um, I wanted to draw your attention to how I keep my desk in order. I simply use zip ties and I get the zip ties from Walmart. Um, here the zip ties are located with the section where they sell light bulbs. And I zip tie, I get the small zip ties. They're two sizes, small and extra large. I get the smaller ones. I zip tie the legs together, and then I cut off the excess tie there. So I zip tie whenever legs meet on a desk. So the front part of the desk, the back part of the desk, the only thing that's not zip tied is a leg that is not lined up with another leg. Even in my horseshoe group, teacher group, where I've removed the horseshoe table and I don't have any regrets, the students write on something hard like a dry erase board when they need to write. I have zip ties connecting all of these chairs together. So they're just not every which way but loose. So this is what my classroom looks like after the first day of school. A um, little pause here for the students to sit on. Uh, I introduced Garrett A. Morgan to the students and I talked about how one of his many inventions was the traffic light. And so here the students decided what red, yellow, and green would mean. And I just draw an arrow with a dry erase marker so that they'll know what they're expected to do or what their expected voice level is in the classroom. Okay, I hope you have a great beginning of the year as well. Peace.